everybody, it's me, I'm back. This time I wanted to um, give you a little demonstration um, on some of these flower combinations from my worksheet, um, just to kind of show you how to do a couple of them, okay? So I got my camera working here a little bit, so I kind of wanted to, you know, I know you guys kind of like to, you know, get a little hands on here, so let's kind of dig in here a little bit so I can show you how to do a couple of them. So I kind of th thought I'd pick this one, maybe this one right here I thought was pretty. So kind of let me show you how, how I do it, okay? So let's say we, um, I hope it's not too close here. So, all right, so you, you pick a flower here from the worksheet that you want to do, right? Right here. And you, you see the numbers here. You pick your, you get your pencils out, you get them all ready, okay? And you get your um, flower here, right here. I'm just going to get it here. Hope it's not too close, but I want you to be able to see how I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? And I don't want you to be afraid, because like some of you guys are new and some of you are a little bit more seasoned. But I want to show you like everybody has a different way of doing things, okay? Now, the way that I that I that I do it if you see on my worksheets I I show you how I do it by the way I um, do it as I lay it down so in other words if I start it with this way that's the way that you need to do it that it, I mean that, that's the way that I lay it down so if I start with deco yellow Spanish orange hot pink mulberry permanent red or whatever or if I start with salmon peak not floral blue or if I do it with deco this is the way I lay it down so like you kind of will know when you see my worksheets like if it says pale, pale sage on this one here for example that means that that's what I that's I base it with then I'll go the next color I'll pick the hot pink then I'll use magenta then I'll use so you, that's kind of like the order that I lay it down with so you just don't have like randomly know okay well what color do I start with I always start with you know, the first color is the one I base with, then I'll take the next one, and so forth, and so to, and, and whatever, okay? And the blending color is always the color I blend with. So like this one, for example, canary yellow, orange, non-photo blue, for example, like on this one, I will always blend with my lightest color. I don't use a blending stick. I always blend with my lightest color, okay? Just so you know. I just wanted to throw that in, okay? All right, so for this one, for example, all right, it started off with the deco yellow. So now remember, for those of you that follow me, I have a little flicking method, and I have it kind of my way of, of the way that I color. So hold on, let me fix my camera so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start off really lightly, and I'm just going to just start very lightly, just putting in the nice color nice color right so it looks really cool and la 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 just coloring along then I'm gonna grab my next color which is Spanish orange as you could see on my list which would be the next color and then I'll just lay it in right and in this way you could see this is a little different um, than my flicking method that I normally do um, because this kind of a flower is more of that crazy method that I told you because I'm try I, I told you I'm doing a little bit weirder with Sima quiet with this method that I'm doing um, and I'll, I'll go into the flick it, flick it method in a minute the reason why I got into this is because I was starting to use that procreate and when I was using that um, procreate it was um, it started me in that layering method where I started it kind of changed my method up a little bit. Simba! Sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. So anyway, it, it changed my um, way I did it, so I started layering a little bit. It actually changed my style of the way I drew a little bit, which is kind of funny. So now here is where I flick it a little bit. Now here is where I go back to my normal way. See how I'm blending the colors up now? See, I'm blending it up. Now that's my normal way I color. See? Now I can start blending back in. See? Now I'm pushing it in and I'm blending the color in nicely. Then now, see? See that? Now, see how nice that looks? See? Now I can, now I can start kind of playing. Now that I have 
my colors kind of laid in nicely the way I want, then I could kind of come back in with the colors that I want. So now I can come back in with my hot pink. Then I could come in with my with my good old method that I love so much. And then I can just come back in and bring back in my colors. But I kind of laid them down first. You see that? So this is kind of, like I say, my extreme coloring method, which I kind of invented. I don't know how or what. I don't even know how I... It's just my weird way of doing things. But it's just, look, it creates almost like a fiery kind of a technique. And it just looks really cool. It's not even hard. It's really fun. So I, in this, the way I did this one, I just sort of layered it down first. And then I, I but like I say, I learned that from using that iPad. Where I layered it first and then I come back in after and in this case here, I'm going to blend it down. I'm going to flick it down so that I can bring that yellow in to the color. See that? See how I'm bringing that in? See? And then there you go. Oh, I hope Oh, I hope my hand wasn't... Shoot, if my hand was covering that, I better go back and look at that film. I might have to redo it. I don't want to cover that. I have a tendency to do that. I'm really sorry if I do. But see that? How it... See? I'm bringing that in. Just like that, and I'm pushing that in like that. All right. Then when you come into the middle, um, you just that's that's kind of the fun part. You just kind of swish it all around, okay. And then you just do the same thing. Then you would take your Spanish orange, and then you just start on the side. And then you just kind of go along the edge. And then you would take your um, your um, hot pink, and you just come around like so. So easy. And then a little lighter, a little lighter. You kind of like, you know, push harder here along the edges, right? Because you want to get it harder on the edges so you get a nice, nice hard edge. And then kind of kind of circle-y and make it nice and smooth and blend it right out nice towards the middle. So you get a nice, really nice blend out to the middle, right? And then you take your nice darker and the dark, remember I like dark, dark, and then darkest. And so now when you put this color in, look, then it really starts to define it, see? Then it really starts to get it so that it really, now, now don't put too much pressure. You just lightly, lightly, just lightly feather it around. And do it in nice layers. And then there you go. And then I use a little bit of red. That's where that permanent red comes in, is a little bit of accent. Just as a nice little accent color. And if you want, you could put it like a little bit over here. Bring it a little bit on the top. Just like so you could barely see it. And it almost like just a little tippy top, like you barely see it if you want. Just like that. And then when you finish the whole thing, and then whatever you want to put on the little pearls or however. And then maybe on, on, the, on the tip here you can, you know, if you want, you can do a little, you know, however you want to do the pink on here. But always start lighter. You know, you can always go darker. Just always remember that. You can always go darker. But the trick is, when you do these, like, wild colors, kooky colors, just put them in lighter, and then you can maybe even add a little red in patches. You know, you don't have to go all the way around. You can maybe put a little on this side, you know, and just leave it there. You don't even have to go all the way around. Maybe you could put... A little of that mulberry on this side if you want and not even go all the way around. And, and, and also, you don't even have to do the same thing on every petal. You know, on every petal you can do each one maybe a little different so that they're not even the same. Maybe on this one, maybe on this side, maybe on this side here, maybe, on, maybe you want to go up a little higher on this one. Maybe you want to take this mulberry up a little bit higher over here on this petal. Right? 
and then over here on this one, maybe you want to have a little bit more red over here, and then you know make make them a little make them a little bit different so that they're not all the same. Okay, so that was just kind of a little short lesson on how to do one of these um, little worksheets. I hope you guys have fun with them. All right, thank you very much. Leave your comments because believe me, I read them all. Thanks a lot. Hope you um, like them. Bye.